Hello and welcome to the CIPC DIY course brought to you by Lola. I am the Gavin Guy and in this video I will show you how to deposit funds into your CIPC customer account through an online banking transaction. If you have internet banking, you can complete a transfer using online banking. When depositing funds into your customer account via a direct deposit or an EFT, you must write out your customer code as a reference on the deposit slip so as to ensure that the money deposited reflects on your CIPC customer account. The CIPC banking details are available on the CIPC website. This is a screenshot of the CIPC banking details I took on their website. Now that all is clear, for those of you who have internet banking, I will now demonstrate how to deposit funds into your CIPC customer account using internet banking. So let's get into the tutorial. Visit the FNP website by typing in www.fnp.co.za on the address bar. Once you're on the home page, type in your username and password and click on the login icon to continue. Once logged in your online banking profile, go ahead and select the once off payment option. After selecting this option, you will be redirected to the payments window. This is where you will enter the CIPC banking details as well as the amount you wish to transfer. On the payment name field, type in CIPC. Click on the choose bank icon and select South Africa as a country and on the bank select APSA as CIPC banks with APSA. Now type in the CIPC account number making sure that you type in the correct account number because typing in the wrong details would mean that you are setting the money into a wrong account number. Below that on the account type section select the transmission account option. The second section is the payment details section. In this section, you should type in the amount you want to transfer to CIPC. Now on the reference field, you should type in your customer code as your reference. This is very important because typing in an incorrect customer code means that the CIPC cannot allocate the funds into your account. On the proof of payment option, select the email option and when the deposit clears, you will receive an email confirmation. Finally, now select which account you want to transfer the money from. Click on pay and then check the bank account details to see if they are correct or not. If you identify a mistake, you can click on the edit button and rectify your mistakes. After confirming, you will be prompted to send a one-time pin into your phone or your email address. This is for security reasons as your bank profile tries to confirm whether or not this account is yours. After receiving the pin, on your phone, enter it and then click on submit to complete your transaction. After submitting, your screen should display a message that says, thank you, your want of payment has been successful. Thank you for watching our video tutorial on how to deposit funds into a CIPC customer account using online banking. On the next video, I will take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial and show you how to lodge a name reservation on the CIPC website. If you have any questions about the CIPC DIY course, feel free to post them in the comment sections below. Also, if you found this video informative, please take a few seconds of your time to like, comment and subscribe to the channel and also share the video on your social media platform. Sharing is caring after all. See you on the next video. Thank you.